Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that you can subscribe to this channel right below. You can click on the box in the right corner, right bottom corner, and also click the bell. Every time we put out a new recording, you will get it notified of that recording. So today I want to talk about something that uh, may be a little contradictory to our society that we're living in. We're always taught that retiring early. How do you retire early? Five steps to retiring early. Keys to retiring early. Well, today I'm going to give you five things to think about of why you should keep working. According to some statistics, on average, Americans are going to spend somewhere between 18 to 20 years in retirement. Now, back in 1970, this number used to be about 13 years. So folks would retire and 13 years later, they were dead. And they only were on Social Security about 13 years. Now it's around 20 years on average. That means some people are actually in retirement longer than 20 years. That's putting a tremendous strain on Social Security. We know that. But on top of that, everything we hear about is why you should retire early and all the benefits of retiring early. Today, I'm going to give you five reasons why you may want to continue working and postpone retirement. So number one is you enjoy it, right? Uh, a lot of you got into your profession because it was something you were interested in. It was something that you maybe studied in college and so you got into it because you had a passion for it. And if that passion is still there, you're going to want to keep working. Everybody creates this bucket list. When I retire, I want to do this. I want to travel here. All these different things they want to do. Why not do some of those things now? Pull retirement forward while you have an income, while you're enjoying what you do. Use your time off to go travel, to do some of the things you want to do in retirement. Do them now. Do them while you have this nice cash flow and this income. Because I can tell you of working with a lot of people, when they get into retirement, sometimes they're a little hesitant to do those bucket list things because they don't have the income they used to have while they were working. The second thing, why would you not want to retire and keep working? Well, sometimes there's a gap between the time you retire and the time you start receiving Social Security. And that gap can be stressful. In other words, your income stops. Let's say you stop working at 62 and you don't start receiving Social Security until 67 or even 70. If that's the case, you're going to have a gap in income. And it sometimes can make you uncomfortable because you're living off of some of the investments that you've saved up. And it can be quite concerning for people to watch their investments fluctuate while they're pulling income off of it. And so that gap can sometimes be stressful. So to eliminate that gap, you may continue working all the way up until you do start Social Security. The other thing about that is the longer you wait to take Social Security, the higher your Social Security is going to be. A third reason to continue working and not retire is that you frankly haven't saved enough. And so as you continue to work, you're going to keep saving through a 401k. Maybe you have a match, things of that nature. And so as you keep saving, obviously that's going to be less and less time that you spend in retirement. And because of that, it's going to put less stress on your savings in retirement. The fourth reason to continue to work, the benefits, they're just too good, right? You get some of your medical paid for. You get the 401k match. Listen, if you're getting a dollar for dollar match up to 6% or 5% of your income, you're making a 100% return on that 5 or 6%. You can't really beat that elsewhere. So it really helps your 401k go up much faster. There's lots of benefits of working for a corporation. And so those benefits are going to continue. And I think medical insurance, frankly, is one of the biggest ones. Uh, if you're bef retired before age 65 and you're not yet on Medicare, then Finding insurance or maybe staying on your old company plan is still going to cost you a lot more. And that can be stressful right at the time you're supposed to be de-stressing. And the last one, and probably the most important, when people retire, there's a fear that they're going to be idle. Maybe you've already done some of your bucket list things. You've already gone places uh, that you know most people would do in retirement. You've taken the cruises. You've gone overseas. You've traveled. You've done all the things you've wanted to do. And you don't really have any huge goals uh, or things you want to do in retirement. And so there's a fear of being idle 
And so continuing to work, staying in the workforce, uh, giving back to society, continue to do the things you enjoy like we talked about earlier is really important. And there are some studies that show, by the way, that the longer people work, they tend to live longer. Now, the caveat is if you're an extremely stressful job, which I have clients all the time that are in really stressful jobs, they got to get out of it. Maybe you switch careers, maybe you go into semi-retirement where you earn some extra income and do something you really enjoy. But for most people who kind of enjoy their work and they want to continue on, it can be actually healthier to keep doing that. 